hello guys and uh, welcome back to our channel and uh, thanks for subscribing to our videos and to our channel uh, I received uh, many queries from you guys and uh, uh, I try to reply most of it whenever I have time uh, few queries were regarding like which um, medical university is better in Europe uh, like uh, someone told me like I should compare the universities or the medical education uh, level in Bulgaria, Romania or some other EU countries. Uh, so okay I'll uh, explain you in detail also. I'll show you the universities websites from different countries but uh, the main thing is that like uh, if you want to study medicine in Europe the main thing is the money the financial issue the budget because sometimes it happens that Europe and they think that it's like Russia and China but it's not like that where uh, Europe is divided hai, like Western and Eastern Europe and uh, obviously Western Europe is expensive whereas UK, Germany, France, Italy and uh, Eastern Europe, hai, Romania, Bulgaria, Hungary, Poland, uh, yeah. So, we decide karna hota ki kitta budget aata hai. So, inki uh, apni currencies hoti hai, jaise Romania hai. So, Romania has a uh, lei. So, usko aga convert karte hai Indian rupee ke hesaap se, to wo 18 rupees ka farak aata. But, uh, agar euro ko convert karenge, to as you know, the exchange rate 80 rupees. So, uh, mostly yes, uh, we have to see how many tax fees are uh, the details so I have a MBBS playlist banaya, so you can find the other details over there the expenditure uh, I have explained everything there ki her year ki fees are how many MBBS ki, especially in Romania uh, uh, plus rent if you are staying in the hostel or in the apartment because uh, in India, we have a concept that is PG, so we have to share it with the other side, so we have to share it with the other side. So, we have to share it with Mostly, we have immigrants, so we have house contracts, so we have to share it with the other side. So, we have to share it with the other side. If you have a charge of the apartment, you have to share it with the other side. But if it's a small apartment, like a studio apartment, then it's really hard to share the apartments. So, the expense is just 200 euros. So, 100 euros is 8,000. So, 16,000 is your rent. Ho gaya, sida, sida. Plus money. Ho gaya. Uh, for the bills, if you have a bill, you will have to pay for the bus, you will have to pay for the taxi. Plus, if you have a hospital, you will have time to pay for classes. So, you will have to pay for the bus. You have to see all the expenses. Uh, plus, if we are going to the summer time, we are going to go to India and go to India. So, how much money comes from the flights? If we are going to the other city, how much money comes from the capital? So, plus, bills in the summer time vary. In the winter, we are going to get heat heating, like the snow and snow. In India, there is no concept. So, some of the costs are the hidden costs. If you are in faculties, if you are absent, you have to pay for charges that you have missed classes. So, you have to pay for it in all your roles. But I will show you on other websites which universities are like Bulgaria and here. So mostly what happens is that the European study protocol is the same. So education wise is the same. You will get a diploma in Europe. Because as many countries come to the European Union. They have a European Union community. And so the degree if you have studied here in Romania or Bulgaria then all will be valid in Germany. But obviously it is not so simple. क्योंकि दूसरी कंट्रीज में दूसरी लैंग्वेज बोली जाती है जैसे जर्मनी में जर्मन हो गया फ्रांस में फ्रेंच हो गया स्पेन सो डॉक्टर्स में हमेशा इश्यू होता है कि आपको लैंग्वेज अच्छे से आनी चाहिए क्योंकि हम लोग को पेशेंट की लाइफ से खेलना होता है तो ये नहीं कि आपको लैंग्वेज नहीं आती तो आपको पेशेंट की कंप्लेन्स कैसे समझ में आएंगी तो कई बार वो लोग लैंग्वेज सर्टिफिकेट मांगते हैं जैसे इंग्लिश में आपको पता ही है कि यू में आई या ओ तो जो कि दो साल के लिए ही वैलिड होता है तो हर दो साल आपको Renew करना होता है exam देना तो उसके भी cost होते हैं जैसे पंद्रह हजार का IELTS का हो गया IELTS academic Germany में और Spain या फिर दूसरी countries में ये नहीं है वहाँ पे अगर आपको जैसे German के exams हो गए 
ए वन ए टू बी वन बी टू सी वन इस तरह के एग्जाम्स होते हैं तो गोई थे इंस्टीट्यूट में वो जाके देना होता है और वो सर्टिफिकेट्स लाइफ टाइम वैलिड होता है बट स्टिल यू हैव टू स्पेंड सम टाइम जर्मन लैंग्वेज सीखने के लिए अराउंड वन और टू ईयर्स उसके भी कॉस्ट होता है हर लेवल के यू हैव टू पे सो द डिप्लोमा इज द सेम एज आई टोल्ड यू ओनली थिंग इज अबाउट द फीस लाइक अगर आप लोग कोई यूरो कंट्रीज चूज करते हैं लाइक चेक रिपब्लिक ऑब्वियसली द करेंसी देर इज इट्स मोर एक्सपेंसिव द लिविंग इज मोर एक्सपेंसिव सो मेरे ख्याल से मैं वो चेक करके बताऊंगा कितनी फीस है बुल्गेरिया रोमेनिया ये सब ईस्टर्न यूरोप कंट्रीज है तो फीस उतनी महंगी नहीं है लिविंग उतनी महंगी नहीं है रेंट्स चीप है जैसे यहाँ पे दो सौ यूरो के अपार्टमेंट मिल जाएंगे वही दूसरी वेस्टर्न कंट्रीज में आपको एक हज़ार यूरो या आठ सौ सात सौ यूरो इस तरह के मिलेंगे दो सौ यूरो का कुछ नहीं मिलेगा सो चल आई शो यू लाइक द यूनिवर्सिटीज फ्रॉम बल्गेरिया एंड अदर पार्ट सो सी तो as i received so many requests from you to compare it with other medical universities in europe so i i have chosen few universities one is from bulgaria second from czech republic and the other one from hungary and this one there are two universities in bulgaria one is plovdiv and other one is sofia so you can see this one the name you can search it on the google and this one is also in the eastern europe and do the admission here that they will tell the admission details admission requirements so obviously non eu so here you can check all the requirements mostly they are similar to romania you can see here they have the 62% of the maximum one so it should not be below that the deadlines the invitation letter all things similar which i told you before then so this medical course will come under the undergraduate so you can see the tuition fees here mostly first matters the expense so you can see Uh, as it's uh, in Bulgaria, there are two courses. One is in Bulgarian language, and the second one is English. So the most convenient, and especially if you want to return to India, and it's the easy one is the English one, English medium. But obviously, you have to take out some money. Like it's eight thousand euro per year is the six years course. So in Bulgaria also, it's expensive. In Romania, they have one or two medical universities which are charging lower at the moment, but still uh, other universities are charging the same 7000 or 8000 euros per year you can check in my previous videos in the playlist like i've explained uh, which medical universities are charging how much and uh, what are the requirements over there so if you are asking me which medical university is better so you have to choose that especially depends on your budget if you're coming abroad everything matters is the money so this one is another medical university sofia it's in the capital city of bulgaria you can see the admission of foreign citizens so here they have all the questions all your doubts they'll clear so i'm showing you the tuition fees directly so you can see here training in medicine and dental medicine in english the same english and bulgarian so it's 8000 euros per year and it is also six years course you can read it you can see the name and you can log in on the website and read the other details then uh, here is a czech republic university I'll tell you the name of the university is charles university the tuition fees here i suppose the czech republic is quite expensive so i have opened here the program fees you can see here the first general medicine english 6 years course i have highlighted it it's like 400000 but in check money so i've converted it here it's around 15700 rand 5 euros like 16000 euros per year so it's quite expensive as you are heading towards the western europe the tuition fees will increase so that's why people choose the eastern europe part like uh, bulgaria 
uh, Romania, or if your budget is too low, then you can choose uh, Ukraine, Nepal, China, Russia. So everything that matters is the money, the budget, how much your family can afford. This one is from Hungary. You can see here. This is also expensive. The university name you can see here. You can log in for other details. So mostly, the uh, you need to jot it down that the these uh, are the tuition fees so sometimes you need to pay the absence fees the re exam retake fees uh, when you're staying in the apartment fees you need to calculate everything because you don't receive a scholarship sometimes they give but mostly to the european students so you need to have the budget or you should not come like you're coming to romania or europe and you'll get a part-time work so it's very hard uh because of the language barrier the most of the people they don't speak english and it's really hard to you learn the language and you also have to manage with your studies the classes the schedule it's really packed it's not so flexible so if you're just coming to do the part-time jobs then you should uh try another countries which is better like australia canada us uk where you know every indians uh, they try to go there because you get the part-time jobs and you can make uh, good money and you can fund your fees. But here in Romania and Bulgaria, it's Eastern European countries and the salaries are not too high. It's very low. It's mostly like India. So you should uh, do your homework. And so I've shown you these universities. If you want to know more, you can email them. You can read about that. Everything is here in English, the details. so obviously the czech republic it will be uh, more expensive the rent will also be expensive so romania bulgaria hungary these are the eastern side but still if someone wants to study in another part you should also check the rules in india if you want to return back what are the rules if they recognize the degree what is the internship program if they you have to do it here because uh, they have changed some rules so you should find out there So hope you like this video and uh, I'll try to clear more doubts in other videos also. So do write in the comment if you want uh, that I should make video on another subject. And do subscribe and like the channel.